Hello everyone, uh, my name is Bruce and uh, I'm here today to explain to you uh, uh, how this 12 ton pollen press works that we manufacture. These are made in Canada. Uh, this is our company, The Press. And there's our phone number. Uh, so what I'm going to do is basically show you uh, how it assembles and disassembles and how easy it is basically to uh, use. Uh, so we're going to start by removing these uh, coupling nuts. And uh, we don't use wing nuts, as you can see. Uh, these coupling nuts uh, cost a little more, but they do the job. They won't strip on you like uh, wing nuts will. So we remove these nuts. Remove your washers. Just remove your top. Now, as you see, this is a, a solid one inch plate aluminum, uh, aircraft grade aluminum. There's nothing cheap in this at all. Um, you remove your top plate, remove your mold, and here's your piston plate. Now, what you're going to do here is you're going to see here how nice the piston Fit. And if you just take a look inside there, you, you, you can see it's there's no extrusion around it, nothing like that. And our, our patented design makes it allows it so that this never jams in there when you're pressing. And as you can see, it very easily installs, and yet it still seals uh, all the way around. So what we're going to do to start with here is uh, install the square part of your uh, mold. Uh, this is a five by seven. Install your piston plate. You put your key for whatever you're pressing into here. Take and install your top plate. your coupling nuts. Now you can snug them up with a wrench. Just snug, they don't have to be very tight. Um, here's your handle. I'll explain uh, briefly how this works. Um, just remove the two end caps here. And as you can see on the end of the, each end of the handle, it's notched, and it's made for one end of it notched, it fits over the valve, and you turn that clockwise, and it tightens the valve, and you're ready to um, extend the jack and press. The small handle fits in there, small part of the handle. Uh, most people tape them together so that they stay together. <laughs> so we got here, we're ready to press. So you've got your key fin here, and everything's ready to go. So you're going to pump and pump, you're going to press whatever you got in your key for whatever inside. Now I'm going to pump it right to the top here because uh, I don't have anything inside it. the top now so you're going to press it until you're right at the top. Now loosen your uh, loosen your nuts, your coupling nuts because you've, you've, you've pressed up inside right up until you can't press anymore. coupling nuts you take your washers off remove your top plate and as you can see your, your key for whatever is going to be like that it's going to be very even with the top um, so what you're going to do now is take two of your nuts
reinstall them here. And what this does is just hold your mold in its place. What you're going to do is you're going to continue to pump your jack. And as you can see, it's going to lift everything right out. Uh, until like this, where you can grab your, your piston plate and your hash press are going to be on top of this. Easily removed. So, remove these nuts. Take and turn your valve here counterclockwise and push this down. And you're ready to go again. Simple like that. And uh, my name is Bruce, and I appreciate your time.